Mama South, we are uh, producing 45,000 barrels a day, gross. But the net is uh, 20,000 barrels a day. And we are just uh, producing in only six wells. And in Thomas South alone, we have 32 wells. So when we are uh, putting more uh, wells into production, the production will definitely increase. By the end of the year, these blocks, uh, block one, two, and four, we used to produce uh, 120,000 barrels a day. But because of the crisis, uh, these blocks in one, two, and four, they have not been producing for the last five years. So we have started uh, producing from them uh, 45,000 barrels a day grows. And then we are aiming by the end of the year, we should uh, reach at least uh, 60 or 70,000 barrels a day. And then next year we can go back to where we used to be, 120,000 barrels a day. Uh, the President of the Republic of South Sudan, General Salfa Kilmayadi, you know, decided to designate a force. Uh, it is called Oil Protection Force. Uh, this is to allay the fears of those who are th thinking that maybe uh, South Sudan is insecure, even though it is not uh, true. But we wanted to make sure that the, the investors are protected. So that force is there. Uh, we wanted to make sure that the investors and the personnel that are investing in the country, uh, they feel secure. Uh, second to that, we give them tax break. Uh, because if you impose a lot of tax uh, on them, definitely you are scaring uh, the investors away. We, are, we have the best uh, regulatory framework when it comes to investment in South Sudan. Tax free, uh, break, uh, then uh, your uh, materials, you can bring them in without any tax. That is what we are doing to attract investors. And when they recover uh, their money, and now it is a normal business transaction and they are profiting and the country is profiting, then definitely you can actually uh, introduce uh, a tax system uh, which is actually uh, being applied in the whole country. We in Africa, for us to utilize our resources, we must be integrated. We must have railways coming from the north to the south, east to west. Uh, not only railways, we have to have roads, we have to have a pipeline so that we can transport uh, the refined products in those pipelines so that we actually make use of them in all the countries of 54 countries in Africa. For us, uh, we will definitely be uh, interested to team up with, uh, with China and uh, to realize those dreams because our leaders, they went to China and, uh, and we had uh, a declaration with the Chinese government uh, to make sure that China is going to be heavily investing in, 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 in Africa and also in South Sudan. They are heavily investing in South Sudan. CNPC is already there, they have been there for the last uh, 20 years. Africa Oil and, uh, and Power has been a tool for all of us with oil ministers in Africa to really sell Africa as a whole to the whole world and to ourselves because there are information that we are not sharing. And then uh, Oil and Power uh, has been an organization that is so important to us to communicate to the outside world and to communicate to ourselves that we have a lot of resources in Africa and we must utilize them for the benefit of all. So Oil and Power has been a very excellent organization for all of us.